Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. And look at the garbage, you guys. I have this big old bin right here full of trash. We got to get through it. We're doing an empties video. You guys love these. I love these. And I just love accumulating my trash and apparently giving my mom one more reason to go, why do you save your garbage? Well, because now I make videos out of it, dumb mom. You guys, I love these kinds of videos. I love going back through with you guys, what I use, what I love, and small disclaimer, this is my second one, so if you're looking for the first one, I will link it up here for you. A lot of the products that I use um, on my like day-to-day, week-to-week type basis, um, they'll be repeats, not gonna lie about it. You will have seen them before, you'll see them again. So some items I will spend a little less time on, some items I spend more time on. It's just the way of the world, but I'll let you know those items as we go through. So we're just gonna dive in. This is a really like fun, on impromptu chill kind of video. Um, let me set my trash down over there and let's get started because girl there's a lot in here. It's gonna take a minute. So you guys were kicking it off with something so exciting. This is one of my Yardley hand soaps. I love Yardley hand soap. If you are looking for a really nice like quite frankly my favorite bar soap of all time and it's super affordable this is your jam. Like we're talking a dollar 108 like some even under a dollar in some stores. This is such a good soap. They have it in so many different flavors. This one is English lavender. There's like a vanilla oatmeal or something with oatmeal in it and then there's another one. I love them all. I use them all. I rotate them through my bathroom. I use these hand soaps for so many things. Like, if I obviously need to wash my hands, obviously, like, normal soap type stuff, I use these to wash my beauty blenders and beauty sponges, like, every morning, and it doesn't hurt them, doesn't break them down any faster than, like, a normal cleanser or anything like that. These are just so good. I've actually even, fun fact, like, in a hurry, I'll take my bar soap, and, like, let's say I have one brush that I, like, I have to wash right now, like, one of my BH brushes. I'll take, get it wet, and I just, like, really lightly kind of rub it up against the soap, get a little bit of soap on it, rub it in my hand, rinse it off, dry it off and it's good to go and this soap is not like aggressive enough it's not it doesn't it's not so like soapy and harsh that it like hurts my brushes or my hands or my beauty blenders like it doesn't break down synthetic fibers it doesn't break down like the oils on me I mean it cleans me like it cleans my hands but it doesn't leave me feeling like parched and dry and I've even used it very rarely do I use a bar soap in the shower but like every once in a while when you forget to replenish that damn soap in the bottle you know sometimes you have to <laughs> improvise and I've had to use Use this for my body and I like it as well like it's just a really nice well-rounded soap I know I'm so exciting like starting off with soap but if you're looking for something affordable give it a try even they sell it in three packs they sell it in like singles like this you can try it for as little as a dollar and be like girl you a liar and you will only be out one dollar it's worth it I love it I actually got this suggestion off of YouTube like three or four years ago and I'm still purchasing it to this day that's how much I like it and I go through a lot of products and I'm, a, I'm obsessed I can't help myself well, you guys, if this doesn't clear up some space, I don't know what will. I have four dry shampoos. These are all Batiste. This is my favorite. I can't imagine how loud that is in the mic. I am so sorry, but this is my absolute favorite fantastic dry shampoo. I love this stuff so much. I use it every day. As I've told you guys before, I talk about it a little bit. I wash my hair every two to three days. I would go longer, but my hair starts to get really like thick and cakey because I have a super, super oily scalp. Like so oily. I have an oily face, oily scalp. I'm just an oily person in general apparently and so for me to find a dry shampoo that works so well over two to three day period was key and every other dry shampoo that I have tried doesn't give me the same all-day effects that Batiste does and I say this because you guys I'm telling you if you're looking for one you can't find one to settle on this is such an amazing dry shampoo I feel like this is the one that everybody has tried at one point or another breaking it down like I said keeps my oils at bay which is great super affordable which is awesome at Ulta a lot of times it's like buy one get one half off even better. It's already a super affordable price to begin with, and it's available at a ton of stores. You can get this at drugstores. You can get it at, again, Ulta. You can get this at, like, even uh, Marshalls, like TJ Maxx, those kinds of stores. I've seen it there before, too. Like, it's so great. And then to top all of it off, it comes in so many different, like, flavors and colors and scents that it comes for your hair color, and I think that that is so awesome. Like, to have such a staple ingredient be something that caters to so many colors of hair and so many different, like, hair sense or preferred sense or no sense. I just think it's so cool. Now, as far as which ones I use out of those 3,000 cents, my favorite is Divine Dark. That's what these three bottles are over here. But I also do use Beautiful Brunette on occasion because this one runs out quite a bit. Um, but these are both really, really good. Again, the Beautiful Brunette, as you can tell by the bottle, is a little bit lighter in color. The Divine Dark is so good. When I put it in my hair, it doesn't cast any white, like, look or sheen or, like, anything like that to the skin, which is 
so great or like to the scalp to the hair whatever it doesn't make me look old it doesn't make me look crazy and there are other ones like the ones that are the more white typical versions of dry shampoo it's not so much that they do cast white in my hair it's that my hair is so dark and requires so much dry shampoo that I can't go like light on it I have to be very liberal with my dry shampoo and so if you are in the same boat definitely something to check out I just think like everything about this product to me is such a freaking win I love it so much I highly recommend it and I just I love it I love it I, I, I love it there's nothing else to say now let's stay on the same track with hair for just a second this is so freaking amazing this is the DP Hue ACV hair vinegar rinse now they have a whole line of air, hair vinegar ACV products this is my only one that I really love that I go to that I like I purchased this by like the bucket if I could like it's so good and basically what this is it's just a hair rinse for when you're in the shower it is primarily made out of apple cider vinegar but it's got a bunch of other stuff in it now what this does for me I'm going to tell you how I use it because like I, I would imagine you'd want to know because this is kind of like an off the wall product and it's not cheap we'll get to that in a second but basically what I do I get in the shower and I wet my hair now before I go in with any other hair products or shampoo anything else while my hair is wet I take this and I obviously you open up the little nozzle right here I put it right to the scalp and I kind of not so liberally but I kind of get like a nice amount of it and I work it onto the scalp it is cold feeling so be warned because I at first was like fuck that's cold but you get used to it after a while but you take just a little bit like my first like first time using the bottle if it's up to here say it's full right here I only use about that much like it's not something where you need a ton of it but you work it into your hair you really want to feel it through and what you're going to feel especially if you're like me and you use dry shampoo or anything like that throughout the week or you know hair care products anything like that in general that really can cake up your hair especially at the root this product goes in and once you put it in you're going to kind of do this like just massage it on your scalp for just like a second Make sure that it's really good and worked around all your hair. You do it up here, you do it down the base, and like I take the leftover and, and kind of like run it through my hair. Then I take a hair tie and I usually just like tie my hair a little bit at the base of my neck just to let it sit there. I leave this on my hair while I do the rest of the shower fun things like, you know, bathing and shaving and in shower lotioning and all that BS. For about three to five minutes is like the minimum. Mine stays in typically for five to seven, um, depending on if I feel like shaving. But, uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's the truth. Like, come on, we don't always want to shave but a minimum of three to five minutes I believe is what it says on the container right oh it says one to three minutes wow I didn't know that I always thought it was three to five that's my typical anyways but this is just such a good product regardless one to three three to five it doesn't matter what this does is so okay You've left it on, say, we're magically three to five minutes later. Then you go ahead, take the little hair tie out, or if you tied your hair back like I do, because it just drives me nuts. I don't like the feeling of wet hair on my neck. Ugh, I hate it. So then I go ahead, you rinse this out. Like, just kind of rinse your finger, you know, run your fingers through, really rinse this out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then you're going to go in with your shampoo and conditioner just like you normally would. However use about half the amount of shampoo that you would normally use because what this does is it goes through and it lifts all the crap off your hair like we're talking all the dry shampoo all the caked on oil all the caked on hairspray volumizing sprays texturizers whatever you put in your hair this goes through and it literally just like detaches it from your hair follicle and washes it away so typically when you go in with your shampoo first that's what you're breaking apart with shampoo that's why we need so much shampoo to make a lather this has already went in there and it already has broken all that off it's already taken it off and it's already gone down the drain goodbye peace out right so this stuff really does cut down the need for your shampoo while at the same time going in taking all the crap off your hair and it has other things in here there are other like oils and lavender and like essential oils and stuff like that that it goes through and as it's taking the crap off it's putting in like nice oils and things that make your hair really soft and luxurious and I'm telling you I have like gifted a couple bottles of these to people and they have told me time and time again, like, Paige, I, I hate you for starting me on that because I can't not use it now. Like, it is such a game changer. It's something that if you, you know, wash your hair or shower or whatever, like, I would do, I wouldn't do this more than two to three times a week just because, you know, you don't want to strip your hair constantly. That's bad for it. But this does it in such a way that you're not like stripping it harshly. You're naturally stripping it with apple cider vinegar, but you're also giving it oil and you're giving it all the stuff that you're kind of taking out. So it's just a really, 
shh, very busy. It's just a really nice, well-balanced way of cleansing your hair and cleansing your scalp. And I noticed that in using this, it helps a lot with like flakiness or like a dry scalp or feeling like my head itches or anything like that. This has just done such an amazing, amazing job. Like I cannot sing its praises enough. You will see this in every video for the rest of my life because it's so good. Now, the only thing I will say about it is that this bottle right here is like $28 or right around there. It's expensive. There's also a new one at Ulta that's a little, like it's a bigger version of this that's like $52. So if you're looking to buy it in a bigger bottle, I did see it there. I also picked it up. I'm so excited that they finally have it in a bigger bottle. But I'm telling you, like if you have Ulta points, if you're having problems with your hair, if you want to experiment with anything, grab a bottle of this from Ulta. I would be so shocked if you regretted it. Like it's, oh my God. Again, I tried the rest of the line. I didn't love it, but this stuff I like, I swear by. It was such a game changer for me, my hair, my whole life. I love it. <laughs> I lied. I missed a dry shampoo. <laughs> My bad. Now these are super duper random. Not gonna talk about them a lot, but two Morphe continuous prepping sets that apparently have cat hair on them. And this is an Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. These are my two absolute like favorite setting sprays of all time. I love the All Nighter for the way that it like locks in and really sets my makeup and it makes it stay last like really, really well. But the Morphe continuous setting spray has such a beautiful melding effect into my skin that like there is no word to explain. It just like, well melding, I guess is the only word. It just like, when you spray it on, it has this and it just presses everything in and it like makes your skin so wet. But then when it dries down, it just like seals everything. I don't know. I love using them. I love using these together. I typically I'll go in and I'll use like the Morphe one first to push everything together. And then I'll do the Urban Decay depending on like how I want to do it. Sometimes I do two doses of this and none of this. Like it depends on the day I'm going to have the makeup look, all that. But these are seriously like there's a reason that these are both so highly rated and so talked about because they're just quality like these are quality to the nth degree i love them there's no there's nothing else to say they're like staples i can't run out because if i do i just i cry a little bit this is the sigma sig magic brush shampoo now this is a really good like i'm gonna clean my brushes in depth brush shampoo this isn't like oh real quick i'm in a hurry type situation this was oh no Paige took every brush she owns put them in the sink well not in the sink but put them by the sink and i can proceeded to cover my countertops in washing my brushes that was this brush shampoo and it did such a great job at really getting all the crap off. Again, getting that buildup off the bristles is so key. It's not just about color. It's about all the other crap that like settles into that ferrule and really settles down inside the brush. And I felt like this did such a great job. Sigma, in my opinion, is one of the best like, br not, not, I don't want to say brush brands because it's not just brushes, but like brushes, brush care, just teaching you in general how to care for your things. I feel like they put out a quality product and they put out quality products to help you take care of your quality products. Does that make sense? I think that that kind of makes sense, but I really liked this. I bought two bottles. I think the other one is only like half gone or three quarters gone or no, three quarter full. There we go. I'm like, I didn't use half of it, but I do have more left to say that. So I still love it. I still use it. And like, oh, by the way, so far, everything I've went through has been an obvious would repurchase all of it. Um, and I would definitely repurchase this as well. Now I know that this is the shampoo and I believe they have, um, they have another one. Oh shit. I can't remember. There's like one is a gel, one is a shampoo or something like that. I haven't tried the other version. I've only tried this brush shampoo right here, but it's really good. Now, if you're going for that like good quick clean, this is the Sephora dry clean instant dry brush cleaner. And I use this whole brush. And as you guys know, I've never gotten into it before, but long story short, I don't purchase from Sephora. Um, just, you know, we've had our own personal situations, which one day, who knows, maybe I'll make a video all on that and the ugliness that ensued there. But this is a product that I did have left over from when I did purchase from them. And I have been using it up throughout the, you know, throughout the last six months, whatever it was. And this is a really good brush cleaner. If you're looking for one that's affordable, um, it's just really good. And like to the point where I'm I want your guys' recommendation. What do you use that is like your instant, like spray it on the brush, wipe it on a towel, and it's clean? What do you guys use for that? Because this is what I used. It's really good. It's affordable, but obviously I am in the market for a different one, and I think there's one, I want to say, at Target that a lot of people recommend. Is it Sonia Kashik? No, I don't know. I don't know. Leave me your guys' thoughts down below. I've tried um, the liquid one from It Cosmetics, the one that's like a real quick spray it on and wipe it off. I have tried that one, but other than that, that's the, this is the only one I've tried. So let me know what you guys think. But if you do purchase from Sephora or are curious about it, this is a really good instant brush cleaner. It works really nicely. And 
for as much as I would want to be like, meh, meh, like I don't like them, whatever, that has no bearing on the product and the product is good. Well guys, next up, not too exciting, but we're gonna go there anyways. We have some makeup wipes. These are my go-to favorite makeup wipes if I'm reaching for a wipe. Now I also use micellar cleansers and I use makeup meltaways and I use stuff like that because as you guys know, I like to try out a bunch of different products, but if I am reaching for a makeup wipe for my face to take my makeup off, these are so freaking good. They're, these ones are the simple sensitive skin cleansing face wipes and these ones are the simple micellar wipes so they are technically different one's a cleanser one's a micellar um, my favorite of the two is this one but if they don't have it for whatever reason I do purchase the green and I find that they work very similarly just as good like honestly no difference um, but these ones are my favorite and I used to go exclusively and purchase the I think it's the purity brand the really expensive ones in the yellow container they look I mean the container is the same for all makeup wipes but it was yellow version of this and they're in Ulta they're expensive it's like $20 or something for a pack of makeup removers and when I first started trying these I was like I can't believe I've been blowing my money on those other ones because these are so good and they make your face feel so clean and refreshed like obviously I go in and I actually cleanse my face and then I do my nighttime routine but there's something about the way that these feel on the skin they don't feel irritating they feel so like <sighs> They feel like my face can breathe again, like my skin is almost getting a drink, but it's not. Like you're removing it in such a nice way, it doesn't affect my skin. Like these are just so good. And overall, like the Simple brand in general is such a good, amazing, affordable brand. I love it. But these makeup wipes, if you are in the market and you have really sensitive skin, and if you've tried the, I wanna say they're the Neutrogena wipes in that blue container, they're like a cult classic. I don't come for me. I don't like those. They are way too oily on my skin. Like when I use those and remove my makeup, they do a great job removing it, nothing against them, but I don't like the film of like that oily feeling they leave on my face. So I can't use those. These are a great alternative if you don't like that feeling because these literally leave your skin just like it dries and it's plain. Like it doesn't leave it feeling weird or like, like there's a slick oil feeling on them. Like it doesn't do any of that. These are just really good quality and super affordable. Wow, I have a lot of affordable things in here like go me I have a big pile of trash sitting in front of me but I'm impressed with how much of it was kind of affordable like this is this is going well okay all right, so next up we have the Dermalogica Age Smart Biolumin C Serum. Now this is a product that I used about a month, month and a half ago, and I did use the entire bottle. And basically what this is supposed to do, it's supposed to go on, it's a serum. So it goes on before your moisturizer, just after you've cleansed and like done all your business, cleaning your face. And basically it's supposed to go on, help reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It's help, supposed, to, supposed to help firm and brighten and like reduce kind of the appearance of like all the discoloration or like the, the ichs on your face. What we consider to be like all oh, the things we don't want people to see but like the things we all have that shit and the thing that like we all dramatically try to like pretend we don't have although we, like we're all aging humans in a toxic world so we all have it's one of those products and so going into this I was very skeptical because I'm like okay it says age smart on it typically products like this are more geared for like more mature skin I've been trying one similar to this lately and it it is for more mature skin it's not working out for me so when I bought this I was like ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, I don't know how I'm going to feel. Like, I don't know. Huh. I used it. I gave it a shot. And I am so glad I did. This was such a great product for me. Now, whereas a lot of, like, C-type serums or, you know, um, the ones that have vitamin C in them, they'll have a lot more of an oil consistency, a lot more of that slippery feel. Again, more for, like, aged or mature skin. This one went on my skin. It didn't leave me oily. It didn't leave me feeling flooded with, like, pores of, like, nastiness. I've tried some that they just feel like an oil slick on your face. And there was such a beautiful compliment in this with my skin. It helped immediately. Like, I would say within three days, I started noticing my face brighten up a little bit. Like, my, my fine lines and, like, my discolorations on, like, my acne-prone areas over here, they started to look a little bit less. They started to, like, everything started to fade in and just look smoother and a lot more filtered. My pores started to look a little smaller. My wrinkles and everything just really did start to calm them down. They never went like all the way away. I did only obviously use one bottle because I typically like to revolve my products. But as far as something that I really did notice an effect on my skin with relatively quickly and for a prolonged period of time, this was a great, great product. Now, do I think you need it? Like it's expensive. Okay, obviously. But I think it was a really great quality product. It is something that I would purchase again, like if I'm being honest, which shocks me because going into it, 
I didn't think I would say that. So overall, it is good. I definitely would watch if you are on like the more oily side, just because I'm on the oily side. And I know that at the beginning, I had to tailor like how much I used, where I put it, because you want to make sure not to like over oil areas that you're already oily in. Um, I did put this on only at night though, which definitely helped a lot. And overall, I just really like this product. It was really good and I do recommend it, which like I said, kind of shocks me a little bit, but it's good. Next up, you guys, because we love to bounce around, we have some setting powders. Not going to talk a ton on these because you guys have seen me use them time and time again. I love these powders. They're both super good. Maybelline Fit Me, I love. I can use it all over the face, but it is magical anywhere I put concealer. I go this, I, I go this. I put this on and it just like, whoosh, like it veils that damn concealer so well. I love it. This is so good on the rest of the face. It has a little bit of extra coverage because I use the translucent extra coverage and it's just so good. Like both of these products, I can't believe that they're both so affordable. I have went through multiples of both. I will continue to purchase them and I'm not going to talk about them a lot because they're just they're great and there's no need because that's that'd be redundant. Now let's talk about something that we don't need to talk about a ton because I've talked about it before but this right here is my one of my favorite soaps which as you can tell I cut it apart. Why do I cut it apart? Because if you are using a tube like this and it's like a squeezy tube that you open at the bottom I'm telling you when it tells you you're out there is so much more down in the bottom right there. Do not throw it away. Use all your product. I, like, I start cutting, okay? So obviously the, the total is like right up here. There's like a little pinch at the top right here. I cut that off, I start scraping down. And then when I get down to here, I cut this piece off. Hello, and then I'm left with this. And I'm telling you, there was like this much product left in the bottom. After I started cutting this tube apart, I continued to use this tube specifically for probably two weeks just off of what was left inside of the container for two weeks. Hello, add that up over the course of the year. That's not like, I mean, that's that's a lot of product. And I love this stuff so much. This is the Innisfree, I didn't even tell you what it was. This is the Innisfree uh, Jeju Volcanic Pore Cleansing Foam. I get this off of Amazon and it's like $12 a container. It's so freaking good. I just like <laughs> folded it up inside of itself. But this is one of those like Korean skincare moments that is such a winner. It's just so good. I find that if I'm having an issue with inflammation on my face, with acne, anything like that, that's stubborn that I just cannot get to go away. I turn to this and I love it. I always have a tube of this on standby. I'm actually about ready to switch over to it to a tube of it here shortly um, just because I feel like it really helps get my face back on track. It's such a good cleanser and again it's super super affordable. Now along those same lines of something else I love also really affordable. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel with Hyaluronic Acid. This stuff is so good. Like literally I cleaned the tube. There is not, or the tube. I cleaned the little inside. There is nothing in here. Oh my God, but it smells. Oh my God, just smelling it. <sighs> I love this stuff. I actually just recently, well actually, Bam! I just repurchased it like it was sitting on my bed ready to go into my bathroom. This is something that I will keep on hand for the rest of forever because it is such an amazing drugstore find. I think it's like right around $15, $16, which some things from Neutrogena can get a little pricey, but for the most part, you are buying legitimately such good quality skincare type products at such a, an affordable price. Like I would put this up against some of the more high-end products I have that are just like so good. Like I, yeah, I love this. I would repurchase it every day, all day. It's such a good product. If you have oily skin like me, they do have another version. So this is the Hydro Boost and then they have, I think it's called the Gel Boost or the Gel something, but the Hydro one, which is the, oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. This is the water gel and then they have a gel something. Like this one water gel because when you have oily skin that's what like you use typically products that are more hydro like you know meant to go into your skin without leaving a film on but the gel consistency works better for I, I believe I have this right works better for people with like dry skin. But a lot of times their containers will actually say especially if they're part of the hydro boost line it'll say like great for dry to super dry skin or normal to dry or whatever like it'll tell you that information but even if it doesn't I'm telling you right now I have oily skin and this one, the Hydro Boost Water Gel with Hyaluronic Acid. It is so amazing. I, like, I don't have words for how much I love this. I will always have one of these on backup. It, it, it's, so, it's, it's my favorite, ooh, do I want to say that? Favorite drugstore, like, facial, facial moisturizer. That's a big, that's a big haul. Ooh, because I really love the L'Oreal, um, crap. What is that? The L'Oreal one in the tall tube. I love that too. Ooh, but this is really good. Ooh, I don't know. We have a competition, but so good. So good. Oh my God. I just can't stop. Oh, 
And it's been sitting like in this bin for probably a month or two and it still smells that good. Like, come on, what kind of sorcery are you? <laughs> So this next one I threw in here, it's not quite all the way done, but I just wanted to show you, you know how I showed you with this container over here, how we like cut it apart and used all the product? I'm currently in the process of doing that with this one, as you can tell. So this is a new product that you guys, I don't think have ever really seen me talk about. It is the Strivectin, I have to like, <laughs> I have it, I have it rubber banded here. This is the Strivectin Multi action moisture matrix melting cleanser and obviously oh no don't you come off don't don't you dare i will cut you to within an inch of your life rubber band so this is obviously a push out cleanser like this that you squirt out into your hand and it's kind of like the make a makeup melt away just like the um the clean the balm cleanse the day off or whatever from clinique clinique yeah from clinique um just like that just like all the other balm type cleansers but this one is probably my favorite. I have already repurchased another one, so like what I repurchased, yes, I love this. Um, what I like about it is that it's so much thinner and so much less feeling like an oil than all the other ones. The other ones, they have that like, oil is obviously what breaks down makeup on your face. Whether like you have oily skin, that's why my makeup gets broke down, because I have oily skin. Whether it's, you know, that's like you use a coconut oil to remove your makeup off your face. That oil element is what removes the makeup. So I understand like, yes, they're supposed to have that feel to them, but this one has a way, and actually, you know what? I could wonder if I could show you kind of. I don't know if it'll let me or not. So it comes out of the container and you can see it's like an oil or not like an oil, but it's like this really thin, kind of like semi oily, but it's really, really thin feeling. And then as you work it onto your face, it turns into like a more white, um, I don't know, almost like a milky looking consistency, which I don't think it'll really show up on camera, but when you start to mix it with products, there you go, you can start to see it changing over. It really breaks down as it turns into a milky consistency, and I think that's what makes it so magical. Like, look at how oily it looks, but when you wipe it off, it doesn't feel that same oil that you feel with like a take the day off cleanser or balm or anything like that. So when I go in here and I remove remove that with this makeup wipe, I don't still, like none of that oily feeling is there. It feels cleansed and it feels clean and lifted without that oily, awful, like slippy, slimy feeling. Now, I don't know if that's something that helps you or not, but it is like, it's the best representation I can give you of this, is that it goes from being, oh, and the reason I love that, that's what I was gonna say. It goes from being that like clear type liquidy looking, goo to that white, white milky consistency. And the reason I love that is because it shows you on your skin, like as you're working it in, you can see it transform, which tells me, okay, we're getting somewhere. We're starting to lift the makeup off. Like we are, we're working it into the skin and we're really removing and pulling all the crap off our face. And overall, like I just really, really love this stuff. I have grown so fond of it. Like when on the days where I don't use this, I'm like, oh man, like I wish I was using it. Like that to me is always a telltale sign. And when I tell you this is another great example of what's left inside the container. I started cutting it off. I scraped along the sides, just like with that one. And look at how much product is in there. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. But like, do you still see all the product in that container? Like, come on, there's so much in here. I have been using just what was left in the bottom portion of this that wouldn't squeeze out for whatever reason. I don't know why there was like a ton in here. And I've been using this for like a week so far and there's about a week left. Like you don't need a lot of this to remove a full face of makeup. It's so good, a little goes a long way. It is pricey because it's Strivectin, which is like definitely a, the higher brand, okay? But it's so good. Like, I, I highly recommend giving it a shot. If you are looking for a good melt-away cleanser, something that for me, I'm very acne prone, and this has not caused me more acne. It hasn't caused me any issues at all. I really love this, and I just, yeah. I can't recommend it enough. So I'm gonna rubber band it back up so I don't lose what little bit I have left. But that was my demonstration of what I do, why I do it. And now that is gonna go back in the bathroom. So I guess technically wasn't an empty, probably not, but like it's basically empty. So we're just going to count it and move on. Oh, and it smells kind of good too. It doesn't like stink. It doesn't have a really pungent odor. I, oh, I just love it. Okay. Next page. Next. Get, get your life in order. So next up, 
we have one of my like, holy crap, catch me by surprise, product, catch me outside. No, this is one of the products that has really stolen the show for me, but it's also really expensive. This is the Murad Revitalixer Recovery Serum, and it's the one with all these like little purple dots in it. If you've seen it on their website or seen it advertised on Ulta, it's like $90 or something like that. It's insanely expensive. This first tube I actually bought from the Murad website because it was on sale for like $50 or $60, and I was like, oh, what, you know, wow, what a steal, but like it was obviously still expensive, but I'm like, well, if I'm going to try it, like I want to try it while it's on sale, right? So I purchased it and I'm so glad I did. I have talked about this in favorites videos. I've talked about this before on my channel, so I don't want to spend a ton of time on it, but on the back here, it says the revitalizing fear, sphere infused serum visibly re-energizes skin, smooths stress lines, and renews vibrancy. You can use it AM and PM, working on your chest, underneath your eyes, neck, whatever. Um, just obviously don't get it in your eyes. And what I will tell you about this is that I love it so much, I did repurchase another bottle. This is such an amazing serum. I love it because it's so many things in one. I started putting it down on my chest a little bit and I noticed like the disc because I have like a weird autoimmune disease thing and I'm pretty sure it causes like the discoloration and the weirdness on my chest. It looks kind of like freckles but like really red all the time and it helped it. It helped it. <laughs> oh my god. It helped lift that color. It helped make it not look so like dark in contrast to the rest of my body which was awesome. On the face I feel like my skin really is like visibly smoother. My pores are smoother. Like my texture smooths out and I feel like it it either smooths out the texture or it plumps my skin, and I'm not sure which, but either way, I love this product. Now, Murad is one of those, like, like lines, not lines, lines isn't the right words. It's one of those companies, there we go, that they make products for so many different skin types and ages and concerns and issues that when you are shopping their site or their whatever, just make sure that whatever you buy, it fits you in the description. And I believe they actually break it down by concern, which is really cool. Like, oh, I have a problem with acne. Here's our acne stuff. Or, oh, I have a problem with this. Here is this. And I have tried a lot of their lines. Some of them I'm not a big fan of. Some of them I love. Some things I'm still testing and I'm like, eh, about. It really does all depend on what your skin concerns are. And I love that it is so clear to me when I use a product, like within probably a week or so, like, yes, this is good or no, this is not right for me. But then I can also tell you who it is good for. And that is something that I think we are being flooded with product after product right now with no clear way of knowing like who it's for, what it's for, who it would be best for. And I love that with their products, when I use them, for example, I'm using um, a serum right now that as I've been using it, I'm like, for me, not so much. But wow, I could definitely tell that this would be good for someone else. And I just think that that is magical, expensive, but I love it. And it's so good. Highly recommended. All right, you guys, time to power through the last few items. I'm so excited. And these are ones that, again, you've seen a lot of, so it's not like anything crazy, but I am really excited. So I can finally, for the first time, reference the video. These are the Halo Beauty Boosters. These are just two of them. Again, you get 30 in a bottle, so I go through literally one of these per month. I have another one that's almost empty up there. Like, I just, I go through these all the time. I do have a full video, which again, I can finally say, hot damn. My mom and I used these together on and off. I did my own little experiment. I have a whole video on this. Her and I did the video together. And I'm telling you, if you haven't seen the video, you should watch it. I will link it right up here. Whoop, whoop, right there. And you need to watch it and watch it till the end. Watch the bloopers because like when I'm having a bad day, I still go back and I watch the blooper reel for that video and I die laughing because it is just, it's so funny. So anyways, all that to be said, you should definitely check, check that video out. Check these out. See if they're for you. There's before and afters of both of us. We use them for a period of six months before I was comfortable making that video because I really wanted to make sure that we had like a good solid opinion on these and I like them. I continue to take them and I think that they are a slam dunk. I have never had a product that actually helped with like hair, skin, and nails. I've taken a million different hair, skin, and nail vitamins, and this is the first one I've taken that actually helps. So food for thought. I really like them. Now next up, I have not one, not two, but three different mascaras, and they're all mascaras that I, oddly enough, really enjoy. Um, I have the Butter London Lashes or Double Decker Lashes. This is a great mascara. The Urban Decay Perversion, which I'm obsessed with. If you've been watching my channel, this is like my go-to favorite, favorite freaking mascara on the planet. 
planet. Love it so much. And then this is the Benefit Roller Lash, which it's not my favorite. I know everybody else like really loves this, but for me, it doesn't do a ton. It just kind of like coats the lashes and leaves them individualized, but it doesn't make them voluminous or longer or fuller. Like it doesn't do anything else. And these two right here, these voluminize, these lengthen, these give me like holy hell, va va voom type lashes. These are it. My number one pick would be Perversion, followed closely by the Double Decker Mascara by Butter London. This is so good. Um, again, Roller Lash isn't bad if you like that more demure look, but I wouldn't say if that's your go-to look that this is the mascara because it's more expensive. So I would actually go with like the uh, CoverGirl Flourish Mascara. That's a great one for like a, a thin, defined lash. That's a good option. So anyways, these are like three of my go-to moments, which are funny because they match my one of my go-to concealers, which how there is only one tube of this in here, I will not know. But this is Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair, and it is so good. Like, I use it all the time. I'm wearing it right now. I've recently started experimenting with other colors because I don't know where I have been. I didn't know that they came out with a lighter color than the original Fair. Um, and I went on their website, and there was, like, more colors. And I'm like, did this happen? And I just didn't notice. I think it did. So, anyways, I still use this. It is such an awesome concealer. I still love the Born This Way concealer from Too Faced. I have that empty somewhere. Maybe it was in the first... I don't know. But I love that. This is also really good. So fantastic. This is Lily Lashes in Mink Doha. Doha? Doha? I don't know. These are so good. So beautiful. I love Mink Miamis. I love that they came out with the faux Mink Miamis. I think those are great. But if you're looking for a different lash, again, I don't have them with me, but these are so... Because obviously I use them because it's empty. Duh. But seriously, these are such a beautiful lash. Like, Lily Lashes, me testing them out for the first time, you guys know me. I am such a diehard, like, Ardell Demi Wispy, Ardell Faux Mink Demi Wispy. Like, your girl doesn't want to spend $30 on a pair of lashes that, quite frankly, I usually end up screwing up and ripping off on, like, the third pair, and they're unusable. When you're supposed to get 25 wears out of them, yeah, your girl never can, like, get her life together. And so I was really, really really skeptical to do it. Well, I was on their site one day and they had a sale going on, which was great. And then I think you can use code James for like 10% off or 15% off, which is ironic that I'm saying that, but you can find like a discount code and stuff and their lashes are so beautiful. They're not as easy to use as the Ardell Demi Wispy, so if you like a quicker, easier to deal with type lash, stick with those. You won't be upset. But if you're ever looking for that full-on glam, like holy hell lash, the Mink Dohas are so good. Doha, Dohas, don't know. The, uh, the, don't know. See what I did there? And uh, the Mink Miamis are my favorite. And you guys, with the beautiful wisp of a lily lash, we are done. I'm so excited. So much garbage is in front of me, and I'm so glad that this is done so that I can finally throw it all away. Um, you guys, I love doing these types of videos. I think Empties videos are one of the most valuable videos because you really get to see what I use, how I use it, why I use it, do I love it, what I repurchase. Like, it's just such a good all-around way for you to see other areas of my life that you wouldn't otherwise get to see. So, um, I really love it. Let me know your thoughts down below. What are some of your guys' favorite products that you noticed you run out of constantly because I want to know because I want to know if I'm going to like them. See where I'm going with this? Because you guys have given me some great damn solutions and ideas and I've taken them and they're good. So I want to know. Give me your thoughts down below, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, definitely while you're down there, go on up. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter. The links are in the description box. And you guys, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. What if I just went through life looking like that? Like, what if that was just my face? Hello, hoodlum child. Hmm. Like, what if, you know what I mean? Except you gotta imagine it, like, without the makeup, because I wouldn't be quite so glammy fabulous if I look like this all time. Okay, this isn't Sisterhood of the Traveling Lipstick. Get back in your... Get back on the lips! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Diet Coke with light ice containers. There's probably, um, 7,500 of those in my empties that we're not gonna show you. But just know, there's a lot. Oh, yeah. Are they bad for you? I know. Does it feel good to be bad? And it tastes even better. Ooh, girl. I love you. I go through a ton of dry shampoo. I have an itch on my nose. <laughs> Everything comes to a stop when I have a hair on my nose. I think it's safe to say that I am paranoid that my video is not going to be in focus after what happened in that last one. So now I'll be checking every frame constantly to make sure 
that I'm in focus. Wonderful. Hello, everybody. Welcome. I didn't check my teeth. Is there anything on my teeth? Hold on one second. Oh my God, there was. Oh, just save myself a lot of pissed off editing. Was there the ones that are only this big? They only make like the ones for my hair color, the brownish quote unquote colors. Um, they only make these in the. Oh my God, I'm having. But this is the tart shape tape. Oh my God, there's a hair on my nose. <laughs> Hello. Ew. Does anybody else like when they like spray their face with setting spray or whatever? Like you touch your chest and like setting spray is like dried to your chest and it like pills off. Anybody else? Just me. No. Okay. That's that's great.